welcome 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 to my channel or back to my channel um it's the time of year when it's time to look back on the things we've done this year and i was tagged um in a very convenient tag which was the year in review 2021 favorite reads and recommendations i was tagged by domnish books who is another uk book blogger um really nice all around nice guy um and i will link his video below because he had some really interesting uh, recommendations and review of the books that he's read this year. Uh, he's very much more into um, fantasy kind of books so if you're into fantasy I would very highly recommend his channel. I think there are 10 questions and without further ado I'm going to jump straight in. So question number one, what's your favourite book of the year? Um, I've actually read some really good books this year um, but I think everyone's aware what my favourite book would be because <laughs> I've raved about it a lot and that would be The Magic of Recluse. Um, I don't have the copy because I lent it out to a friend um, in my view of trying to get everyone to um, read this book and I have actually done a uh, video review of this which I'll also link below. Essentially it's a fantasy book and it's a book about a young man who goes on a journey in this world there's magic, there's dark and light um, and it is really kind of a coming of age and how he discovers himself within this world. Um, it's excellent, the writing style is beautiful, I think that's really what holds this book together. The story is very simplistic but um, so beautifully written that it comes across really well. So that would probably be my favourite book of the year. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, it's, it's an excellent book. The second question would be, your favourite series started this year but not finished? Okay, this would be the Murderbot series by an author Martha something whose name has escaped me but I'll put it up so you can see. It's very famous, quite popular so I'm sure everyone is aware. Um, but essentially the storyline is about an artificial construct who's designed as a, I guess, security? Yeah, security unit? I guess would be the term, um, who managed to overcome his like governance module or their governance module. Um, uh, so it's a completely independent AI. The first book is about them on a scientific mission, a group of people on a planet, um, and ends up um, assisting them in a very dangerous situation and becoming kind of like a, a free individual. Uh, I think there's about six or more books in this series and it's one that I really want to get to and complete. But I have thus far only read the first one. I think I gave it four out of five stars. It's very short, novella sized, uh, really good. Um, but yeah, that's the one I started this year. Okay, number three, your favourite series finished this year. Um, I'm an awful reader. I haven't finished any series this year, and that's um that's quite bad, isn't it? Um, I'm very much one for starting series and <laughs> definitely not finishing them. Um, I will be making one of my next year challenges to kind of finish uh, series that I've picked up but haven't got to. Um, so yeah, number three is none. I'm a terrible person. I need to read more, not a terrible person. <laughs> the fourth question is, your favourite author discovered this year? Um, for me, that would actually um, be Courtney Summers, um, which is not, um, she's not, as far as I'm aware, she's not a sci-fi or fantasy author. Um, the two books I've read by her so far are Sadie and The Project. Enjoyed both of them. They're kind of young adult uh, mystery thriller books. Um, both stories are surrounding um, sisters and one sister goes missing in very different ways. Um, it's not a continuation by any means. Uh, really, really interesting. I get frustrated by thrillers an awful lot. So to find two thrillers, I really enjoyed both of them. Um, and was taken in by the story I was very impressed by. So yeah, Courtney Summers is definitely my um, favourite new author I've discovered this year. I would recommend reading both of the books um, in an audio format because the audio production quality is amazing. Um, they have voiceovers for each different character um, so it feels like more listening to kind of like a play rather than reading um, a book. Um, but yeah, both, both are really really good and she's a fantastic author. Question number five is your new favourite uh, character of the year. Um, for me, this would be, <laughs> there's a lot, I had to go through and think about this one quite a lot, but I think, I think my new favourite character would actually be a Joe Abercrombie, Abercrombie character from the first Lord trilogy. I have chosen Glockter. Um, mainly, I think everyone knows that Joe Abercrombie is fantastic at writing um, characters, especially complex and um, morally ambiguous and interesting characters and Glockta um, is just someone I think is fantastic. Uh, again as I said morally grey, um, had it all uh, before you were even introduced to him and then lost it all and has become quite a twisted um, 
interesting individual who isn't necessarily evil, but um, but yeah, has some uh, not great traits. But Glockto is fantastic, and I always enjoy reading um, the section of books that are specifically about him. Okay, the next question is your favourite new release of the year. Um, for this one, I would say it was A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady uh, Martin. This was actually the second in a series. The first book was A Memory Called Empire. Um, and it's a kind of a sci-fi sci space opera. Um, the first book was about um, the main character going to, I've forgotten everyone's name and everything about it, but going to um, being an ambassador to a particular world um, and her learning about the culture and the people there. And that was very interesting. And then this alien threat comes into play. And then this book is very much more about going to understand and interact with this new alien threat um, outside of this world, um, so they travel across in spaceships and do all that. That's a very terrible way we're up to what this story is about. It's excellent. It's a story that talks about culture, language, politics, um, morality for sure, friendships, and uh, very much more colonialism as well. So the interactions about it. Um, language is a really good one to talk about, but it, honestly in this book it's done, it's done so well. Um, how they try and uh, have first contact and discussions and, and conversations or at least the interactions with the first this alien threat was done um, superbly well. So yes, if you like a quite flowery but um, very good sci-fi opera, I would also recommend that book to you as well. Your favourite reread of the year? This would be um, Six Weeks by Mer Lafferty. This is a sci-fi murder mystery um, on a spaceship, um, essentially your the first chapter you're you're told about it anyway so it's not a spoiler but um clones wake up on a spaceship and they have to find out find out who murdered their original bodies the original crew um before the murderer then murders them again it's something that's been done before not necessarily the clones part but finding um a murderer in a group of people um so it's very much suspicions history secrets finding out each thing of it each thing about each individual of the crew um but it is done really well it's a very good thriller uh it does get you back and forth about who it could be and who it couldn't be um and obviously it's also set on a spaceship in space so it's all all the more dangerous uh really really fun book very much glad i reread it because um i think rereading things like that again you pick up things you hadn't noticed before uh so yes that was six weeks um was definitely my favorite reread of this year Question eight, your biggest surprise of the year. Um, this to me would be The Secret Life of Writers by, oh no, Guillemard Musso? I will put it up so you can definitely say how to say that rather than how I butchered it. This uh, is a crime thriller book. Um, the premise being that there was a famous author who wrote, I think, three cult novels and then completely disappeared, stopped writing uh, and went to stay on an island in the middle of nowhere. Okay, and the final question, question number 10, is one book from this year you'd recommend to anyone? Okay, for this one I'm going to pick one that I've only just read, um, which I feel like is a bit of a cheat maybe because it's fresh in my mind, but this would be Station Eleven. Um, it took me a while to get to this book throughout this year, I think I had it on two different TBR lists. Um, However, I have just finished it, and it was excellent. Um, for everyone who isn't aware, uh, essentially it's a book about a Shakespearean play group who travel around and perform plays for, I think, townships, small groups of people, um, in a post-apocalyptic world where most of the population, I think 99% of the population, has been decimated or killed um, by a virus. The book has kind of like a pre and post um, uh, virus setup where you follow people before th this occurred and then afterwards. And the main person that he follows beforehand is this uh, uh, film actor or celebrity and kind of his life and the interactions with the people. And then you also then follow where those interactions uh, later touch these people post the flu. It's a really lovely book. Um, I think my main takeaway points on why everyone should read this is just because. Um, one, it makes you feel quite happy and quite thankful for the simple things that we have now um, and how easy life is with them. And then second, I also think um, I recommend this book because it shows you or 
demonstrates how small interactions between people can have quite a lasting effect and quite a big effect on people's lives. A little late to this one and I think most people may have completed it or um, have very minimal time to get through it but I will um, tag some people. Um, also please consider yourself tagged if you haven't and you'd like to. The three people I would choose would be Mason in the Dark, Book Blogger and David Wiley's channel. I will link them below if you'd like to check them out. All three of them are really great channels and recommend you watching them. So um, thank you for listening. Um, I think that's the end of this one and I'll see you in the next video.